Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the tutorial series where I teach you how to make a Minecraft mod without coding. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to export your mod. So this means you can add it to a mod pack or you can play with it in standalone Minecraft without having to actually run it from mCreator every time. That's quite an important feature. Now there's two different ways to export your mod. One of them is as a .jar file and that is what you actually add to Minecraft to add your mod to the game. And another way is if you export the source code, which basically has all the code for your mod, but somebody can import it back into mCreator and edit it again. So if you want to, for example, share it with your friends and have them add a few things, you can export the source code. But if you want to share it in public and you want to actually let people add the mod to their game, then you're going to want to export the .jar file. So we're going to go over both those today. So first, I'm going to show you how to export your mod as a jar file. But before we do that, we should probably get some important information about our mod actually set up. So if we come over to workspace and then workspace settings, this will basically give us a lot of information that we can change about our mod. So the first one is the mod display name. This is this should be something else. So I'm going to call this like tutorial mod. And you can actually add spaces and stuff because this is go going to be what shows up. When you click on the little mods button on the title screen, you're listing for the mod. This is where all this information is going to show up. So tutorial mod, that's the name I'm going to put in. You want to leave this one like this. So all lowercase and no spaces. And this is like if you're typing slash give or a command where you reference your mod. So if you know the give command where you can do like slash give and then your username and then like Minecraft colon diamond. If we wanted to give ourselves something like an Ardanium ingot, it would be tutorial mod colon Ardanium ingot because it's from the tutorial mod. So whatever you want that to be, that's kind of what shows up here. So I'd recommend just leaving this kind of how it is. Now for the package name, this is kind of a common thing in coding where you have package names. So the way this kind of works is it's like as if you were to have a website. So in this case, by default, it's net dot mcreator dot tutorial mod. So this can kind of be whatever you want. You don't actually need a website, right? So usually what I do is I do com dot uh, mod monster and then I do dot and then the name of my thing. And the idea is that no two mods can have the same package ID. So with all these steps, hopefully nobody else will make a mod that's com dot mod monster dot tutorial mod. And if they do and you try to load both of them at the same time, it'll kind of break things, right? So the idea would be that even if somebody else made a mod called tutorial mod, they'd have a different developer name here. So mine's mod monster. And if somebody else made a tutorial mod, it would be something else. Now here for the version, we can keep this kind of normal. There's a system again in coding that's called semantic versioning. And basically what that means is this first number is called the major version. So the major version, you will increase that whenever something major happens to your mod, where there's things that would actually cause incompatibilities with older versions. So that's why Minecraft has forever stayed as one point something, because you can always upgrade your old worlds to the new versions. So there's no real incompatibilities. So most of the time you're going to leave this just at one. Now this next one is called the minor version and you want to increment this whenever you add small things that people are going to notice. So if I had, if I actually export this mod now, I'd keep it at 1.0.0, but then if I was going to add more blocks, for example, you might want to change that to one, right? So people know it's a new version of your mod. Um, and then this last number is the patch version and the patch version basically whenever you add something that people shouldn't notice like bug fixes or if things were broken if you fix them then you would add add one to that number and whenever you add one to another number so for example if i was going if i had 1.1.1 and then my next version i wanted to increment this one it would change to 2.0.0 right so it's, it wouldn't stay 2.1.1 right that's kind of the basics you can pretty much put whatever you want in here you could just do one and then once you add something, just go two, three, four. But I'm going to stay with 1.0.0 here. Now for the mod description, we can just add a short description of our mod like it says here. So I'm going to just say a mod that I made for a tutorial series on YouTube. All right. Now for the author name, you want to put your own name. So I'm just going to put mod monster. And then website. This is optional. You can just get rid of the M creator website. If you don't want to credit M creator, I am going to credit M creator, but you don't have to. So you can 
add your own website in there if you want. And then for the credit section, I'm just going to keep this M Creator thing. M Creator doesn't require that you credit it. You don't have to, but it's always appreciated, right? And I like crediting things that I use. So I'm going to keep this in here, created using ModMaker M Creator, mcreator.net slash about. Now for the logo and picture, what we can do here is we can add a picture for the logo. So if I save the changes real quick, it's going to ask me to refactor this. So if we hit yes, it'll just do some stuff. But you're going to need to do that whenever you edit the workspace settings. But if I come over to resources here, under other textures, this is where you could add a logo. So you would just do either create new texture or import textures, and you want to do this mob GUI logo, etc. And it'll end up under this other textures, right? You don't want it to be blocks or items or armor. You want it to be other. And then what you'll be able to do is when you go to workspace settings, you can select it here. So you see those are my two other textures. I'm just going to keep it at the default picture, but if you want another picture, you can do that. Now the last thing is a license. There's a bunch of licenses here. I'll leave a link in the description for a website that actually kind of has a bit of detail on licenses. I'm going to use the MIT license, but again, you can use whatever license you want. You don't even have to specify one. And now that that's it, I'm just going to hit save changes and we're all done. Once again, if it asks you to do that refactoring thing, just click the yes button. Okay, so now we're ready to export our mod. So the way we export it is by coming up to this little orange button to the right of your play buttons. And when we click that, it's going to build our mod. And then once it's done, it'll open up this window. So it has this message just saying what you're allowed to do and like what you're not allowed to do. And it'll ask you for a donation. So if you want, you can hit donate. And if not, you can just export it without donating. So I'm going to do that for now. I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. You can save it wherever you want. I don't know why I save things in my downloads folder, even though they're not downloads, but I'm going to do that. And the way I like to name my mod files is just the name of the mod. So tutorial mod and then a dash, and then the version of Minecraft. So this one, I believe, is 1.16.4. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 1.16.5. Then another dash, and then the version of my mod. So 1.0.0. And we're going to hit save. And now our jar file is saved. So if I open up my, um, my downloads folder, here it is, this jar file. And now I can install it like I would any other mod. So that's just dropping it in your mods folder. And loading up Minecraft. Okay, so that's one way to export your mod. So now we're going to be going over how to export your mod as an entire workspace that people can import back into M Creator. So if you want somebody to add stuff to your mod, then you can share this with them. So you just want to come to File, and then there's two options here export workspace to a shareable zip, and then export to a shareable zip with run directory. Now, if you export it with the run directory, then when somebody imports that back, they will have all of the stuff. Like when you hit the play button, you know how it saves worlds and stuff, but specific to the mod that you're working on. If you export it with the run directory, then when somebody imports it back, they're going to get your worlds. And if you put any texture packs in there, for example, they'll get those and all the stuff that you've saved in there. When you actually click the play button, everything that you've saved in that Minecraft instance. If you click on this one without the run directory, then it won't export the worlds and stuff and it'll only export your mod elements. So I'm just going to do that for now hit that export button and we can just type a name. So I'm just going to call this yeah, tutorial mod and hit save. And that will once again, save it in the downloads folder. Here it is. Here's our zip file. We can now share this with whoever you want. And what they will do is they'll come into file, import workspace from shareable zip, and then find the zip file and click open. And now you have to pick where, where you want the workspace to be saved. So I'm going to do in this folder doesn't really matter and then make a new folder call it ardanium import and now it's importing it and setting up the workspace so this is what your friend would do and then once they're done with their changes they would export the mod again and then you would import it back into yours and then you would have all their changes so that's about it for this video thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye